What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I am sharing swatches of the Ice Cream Nails Plus line, which is the newest line of nail polishes from Ice Cream Nails. And with the launch of their new line of polishes, they have released 30 new colors. And I'm going to be swatching all of them today, so I hope you brought a snack because it's going to be a long one. Before we talk about the new line specifically, let me just give you a little bit of information about Ice Cream Nails as a whole. They are an independent nail polish brand that is based in Australia, but they're available internationally. And all of their polishes are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. They are cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And all of their polishes are also plant based. They are breathable and halal friendly. And I have loved this brand for a really long time. They are known for having their little ice cream cone shaped bottles, which is either hit or miss with a lot of people, but this line does have a totally new bottle design. It is a square flat bottle and we do have a regular bottle cap now. So if you were the person who wasn't a huge fan of the ice cream cone cap, then this line of polishes might interest you a little bit more. So the Ice Cream Nails Plus line is meant to be their long wear line. Now I personally don't wear my polish for more than a couple of days at a time, so I can't speak to the wear time of their regular line or their new line. They also claim that this line strengthens and hydrates your nails. I didn't see any details about what ingredients in the polishes actually help with that, but they also claim to be self-leveling and ridge filling, which I did notice when I was swatching them. So yeah, we've got a lot of colors to go over today. Like I said, there's 30 of them. Most of them are a cream finish and a lot of those creams are actually neons, which is something that I think Ice Cream Nails does very well. And we also have a few scattered hollow polishes in there. So let me show you the swatches first and then I'll talk a little bit more about my thoughts on the new line of polishes and how it compares to the regular Ice Cream Nails line. And then we can talk more about pricing and availability and all that stuff. So roll the swatches. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the new Ice Cream Nails Plus base coat. So let's just dive right into it with the cream shades. This first one is called Dirty secret. This is actually the first shade that I saw out of all the Ice Cream Plus polishes and I immediately fell in love with it as soon as I started applying it. You can see the formula is just incredible. It's actually almost a one coater. It's this really gorgeous, slightly taupey, neutral, light nude shade and it just has an incredibly smooth self-leveling formula. It gave me perfect coverage in two coats. It has a nice little touch of coolness to it. It's a perfect any time of year neutral color and I think that this type of shade is just universally flattering. Next up we have the shade I Mean Business and this one is a really beautiful dusty purple with a little pinky undertone to it and again just an amazing formula. You can see it's super high gloss. It's really opaque. The first coat almost covered everything but of course I did need a second for full coverage and you can see as I'm swiping it on it's just leveling out on the nail so nicely. So very easy to use, very beginner friendly formula going on here. Moving on, we have Current Mood and this one is a nice deep maroon shade. Now with these types of darker red colors, they tend to have an almost jelly-like formula and I found that to be the case with this one as well. So it's a little bit brighter and a little bit more sheer in the first coat, but I was able to get full coverage in the second and it did again have this really nice high shine to it. You know, I do want to note these are not great groundbreaking new colors, but I think that this is really great that they have a nice base collection to work with, with all of the basics that you need. And this to me is totally one of them, especially for the fall winter. Next up, we have the shade Savage, which is your classic medium dark pink cream shade and this one was so incredibly opaque. Looking at the formula, I was just wowed by this because it fully covered up everything in the first coat, but of course I am doing a second just to show you what that looks like as a full manicure, but I would totally use this for nail art, for stamping. It was really opaque, it was really smooth and easy to work with, and to me this is like the classic nail polish color. Actually maybe red is the classic nail polish color, but this is like the second classic nail polish color. Next 
Next up, we have the shade Drama Queen, and this one is a dusty pink cream shade that's a little bit on the lighter side. I will say, I think that this one is showing up a little bit more cool toned on me, where it looks a little bit more neutral to warm in the bottle. I'm not sure if that's just my skin's undertone or maybe just the bright setting that I'm in right now, but it is a really gorgeous shade. Again, really nice formula and perfect coverage in two coats. Next up, we have Next Move, and this one is more of a blush, light salmon pastel kind of color. And again, just really amazing coverage, especially for being a lighter shade. It did almost cover my nail in one coat, but I did do a second, of course, to get that full, full coverage. And again, just a really nice, universally flattering color. To me, ice cream nails tends to specialize in the neons, but I think they do these neutrals and any time of year colors so well, so I really appreciate when they put those out. Moving on, we have the shade Ghosted, and this one is a gorgeous light green cream. I don't know how to describe this one. I feel like I'm blanking on the word. I want to say sage, but it's very warm, and it has almost that like yellowy undertone. I guess it's more of like an olive kind of green, but in a lighter color, so absolutely love this one. I feel like this is the perfect kind of green color that to me feels a little bit like an ugly pretty green, but it's another shade that I think is universally flattering, so I would be surprised if anybody actually thinks this color is ugly. But again, perfect coverage, two coats, really amazing formula. Now with this new line of polishes, Ice Cream Nails did release a white cream and a black cream, which I always love to try from brands because to me, I feel like that's a great marker of how well their product performs. So this is their white shade. It's called Awakening. Of course, it is your classic white cream finish. And I was really impressed with it, but not surprised because they do neons really well. So I guess it would make sense that they would also be able to do a more difficult formula like a white cream, but it gave me full coverage in two coats. It was really smooth. It didn't feel chalky or difficult to work with at all. So I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot. And then we have the black shade. This one is called Devious and it is their black cream finish. And this was probably my first disappointment of the swatching because it is a good formula, but you can see on that first coat, it just wasn't fully opaque. And I feel like there are so many many one coat black nail polishes in the world. Even ice cream nails themselves in their regular formula do have a one coat black. So I don't see myself reaching for this one too much just because I don't really feel like it makes sense for me to do a two coater when I could just do one coat, but I'll probably end up using it for nail art. So now moving on to the brights and the neons, this first shade is called Ripe and Ready, and it is a super bright, almost orangey red cream shade. And again, like I said, with reds, they tend to have a little bit more of a jelly-like formula, and this one also has that. So in the first coat, it looks almost sheer, but I ended up getting full coverage, and it did fully cover up my visible nail line in the second coat. And you can see it just smooths out almost instantly. It looks so bright and neon-like on the nail, and it's just a really gorgeous summery color, which is convenient because we are approaching summer in the Southern Hemisphere, which is where Ice Cream Nails is located. But it's always just good to have have neons any time of year. <laughs> Next up, we have the shade Stalker Alert, and this one is a super bright, almost eye-searingly neon orange cream shade. It didn't look as neon in the first coat, but trust me, once I hit full opacity, it was just super vibrant and gorgeous. I actually ended up getting full coverage in two coats. I do have short nails, so that probably wouldn't be the case for everyone, but with a lot of these, I figured I would just put on a third coat anyway, just to see if that brightened the color even more, because neon polishes are a notoriously difficult formula. And like I said, I think it's something that ice cream nails in general does very well, but I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the best coverage. So here's what it looks like in three coats. It's super bright, super eye-catching, makes me look really tan, which I love, but I think I probably could just wear this as a two coater for the most part. Next, we have one of many pastel neons. This one is called Sweet Talk, and this one is sort of a pastel 
pastel neon salmon color so it kind of sits somewhere between being a pink and being an orange and it is again just so bright and eye-catching it definitely has that almost neon vibrance to it and it wasn't quite there in two coats I ended up needing a third just to cover up everything and get that nice smooth coverage but it looked super gorgeous in three coats so I was very pleased with that and then we have another neon pastel this one is called Eris and this one is a little bit more of that like creamsicle orange kind of neon pastel so this one my camera was actually having a really hard time capturing it looked a little bit more yellowish on camera than it does in real life so I did try color correcting but it's definitely not perfect because sometimes it can be a little bit of a struggle to capture neons correctly my camera just doesn't love them but again super eye searing super bright probably could have gotten away with two coats but I did do a third thin coat just in case and it looked beautiful moving on we have the shade thrills and spills and this one is a yellow cream this is actually not a neon but I figured I would throw it in with the rainbow anyway but yeah it's a really gorgeous color I was a little nervous about it yellow polishes tend to be super sheer and I find that they're almost always at least three coats but I hate when I have to do four coats for any polish so I was a little concerned on the first coat it was super sheer second coat still pretty sheer I ended up actually getting full coverage on the third coat but I do have pretty short nails so I don't think that this would be a three coater on most people if you have longer nails than me you're probably gonna need a fourth so I'm not a huge fan of that but it is a super high shine and it looks really gorgeous so I don't know kind of conflicted on this one and then we have the neon pastel version this one is called happy place I guess this is more technically a regular pastel but I do think it gives a little bit of a neon vibe to it so again I figured this was gonna be pretty sheer but I was surprised at how much coverage I got in the first and second coats I actually think I could potentially get away with wearing this as a two coater on my nails because it did cover everything up it looked pretty opaque I probably would need a third coat on my thumbs just because they're bigger so I ended up putting on a third coat just to show you guys but yeah for the most part I think I would just wear this as a two coater and it's a really pretty shade I think this is the perfect light yellow color it almost looks like it has a white base underneath but it doesn't this is just three coats on its own and it looks really pretty and then we have our neon green this one is called freaky and this one it definitely leans a little bit on the bluer side which I absolutely love in a neon green so I was very excited about it as you can see it started off super sheer so I did three coats for full coverage but looking at it up close I feel like I could have used a fourth so again a little bit disappointed on this one I don't know that I will be reaching for it that often just because I do have more opaque greens but then again this is a super close-up so nobody's gonna be studying my nails as closely as this video is so I don't know a little conflicted on it not the best but also not the worst and then we have the shade Fuzzy Love and this one is a soft minty green pastel shade and again I thought that this was going to be a three coater but I was surprised and very impressed with the opacity of some of these lighter shades. I just think that they looked so good in two coats and with these lighter shades I always associate them with this sort of chalkiness where it's really hard to apply and it doesn't self level but these ones were very self leveling they really smoothed out on to the nail and looked super gorgeous on so I was very pleased with this one as well next up we have the shade eternity and this one is a light blue cream shade I started off being pretty impressed with this one I know it's a little bit sheer but the formula felt really easy to work with so I was really happy with that but I felt like on the second coat it actually didn't give me that full coverage that I was looking forward to there were some super tiny areas that felt a little bit patchy to me so I ended up having to go in with a third coat which is definitely not my favorite for a more basic shade like this it ended up being a really pretty color but again probably wouldn't reach for it too often just because I don't mind doing three coats or even four coats if it's a very special interesting polish but for a simple color that's not a neon not a neon pastel not a yellow three coats is probably just a little bit too much for me moving on we have another blue shade this one is called private island and it is a really gorgeous medium blue it has a little 
little bit of that like yellowy undertone so it almost reminds me of like a chlorinated pool so it's a really pretty color it does have a little bit of that jelly like sheerness to it but I was able to get full coverage in two coats looking at it on camera I feel like I potentially could have done a third but again to the naked eye it looked absolutely perfect in two coats so that's just what I'm gonna go with moving on we have the shade that I was probably the most excited about when I saw it it's called restricted access and it is a super gorgeous warm toned almost neon purple cream it definitely has that pinky undertone to it it feels like a nice orchid color but in a slightly neon way and I thought it looked great in two coats so I would probably just wear this one as a two coater but I wasn't sure if it looked fully opaque on camera so I did go in with a third coat that is just a running theme of today's video but I've said it before and I'll say it again I would just wear this one as a two coater I thought it looked fully opaque in two and I was totally fine with that but the color is just gorgeous and then we have the lighter purple sister of restricted access this one is called pastel princess and it is a super soft pastel -y version of that pinky purple color and again just a shade that I absolutely love it was a little bit sheer on the first coat gave me pretty nice coverage in the second but I did do a third coat just to see what that looked like because there was just the tiniest bit of patchiness around the cuticle area although if I did thicker coats I probably could have just done two coats but yeah absolutely gorgeous I feel like this shade and restricted access would make such a pretty subtle purple gradient I think that would be gorgeous and again I just love this kind of color I am a big purple nail polish lover so of course I'm gonna love all of the ones that I try. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Baby Girl and this one is a super bright neon pastel pink shade and again just shocked at the opacity here. It was almost one coat coverage and it looked so good but I did do a second coat for full coverage and I love this shade. It's such a basic color but I always love it. It's like a neon version of Pepto-Bismol and I just think it's really fun. I think it's very bright and summery and it's just a classic color. Moving on we have she's an icon which is another neon pink cream shade but this one is more of your regular barbie neon pink kind of color and again really nice formula very easy to work with didn't give me quite enough coverage in the first coat but the second coat looked absolutely gorgeous on and i do appreciate that they ended up doing i think for almost all of the bright shades they did a neon version and then a neon pastel version i think that would be very cute for or pairing up for nail art or doing gradients or just having like a brighter or lighter accent nail. Super fun. So those were all of the cream finishes but we do have some scattered hollow jellies which is one of my favorite formulas so I was really excited to see that they decided to tackle it. This first shade is called Psyched and it is this gorgeous almost brownish orange base color that is packed with silver holographic micro glitters and they give such a great shine on the nail. I I personally love the Scattered Hollow formula the best because I think it gives the most rainbowy shine and it looks so much fun. This is such a great November color, but I could see myself wearing this any time of year because it is just so funky and fun. Next we have the shade Moonshine and this one is a deep eggplant purple base color that again is packed with those silver holographic micro glitters and I actually thought up until I started applying this in the bottle I thought it looked like it was going going to be a black scattered hollow but I was really impressed with this color I thought it was very pretty I like these shades that look almost black but then in the light you can see what color they are and in this case is that gorgeous maroony purple kind of shade looking at it on camera I feel like I could have used a third coat here because it does look a little bit sparse Moving on, we have the shade Ego Trip, which is another purple jelly. This one is a little bit more of like a fuchsia kind of coloring, but the more coats you do, the deeper the color gets. And again, we have all of that gorgeous silver holographic micro glitter scattered throughout. So I absolutely love this one. This is probably my favorite of the hollow polishes in this set. And I love that 
the silver holographic glitters in there almost cool down that purple color because I love having a cool toned base with a warm toned glitter or warm toned base with a cool toned glitter. I just think it looks like a very cool combination. So I think they did it really well here. Next up, we have the shade Sonic Boom, and this one is a primary blue jelly base that again is packed with those holographic silver micro glitters, but we also have a slightly larger silver hollow glitter in there as well. So we get a nice little variety. I love the name of this because it does kind of remind me a little bit of Sonic the Hedgehog because he is also primary blue, but I thought it looked cool in two coats. I wanted to do a third just to see what that looked like. And I am so thrilled with how it looks as a three coater. It really softens up those glitters and you lose a little bit of that holographic pigment. But to me, it looks like snow falling in the evening. And I absolutely love that. So I will gladly give up the holographic sparkle to have a cool wintry vibe. Imagine this with little white snowflakes on it. I think it would be stunning. And the last polish was honestly probably my least favorite out of all of the polishes that I reviewed today. It's called Wicked and it is a black jelly base that is packed with metallic green micro glitters. And I do think it's cool in theory, but oh my goodness, what a lumpy polish this ended up being. I had to do three coats to get full enough coverage that there wasn't any patchiness on my nails. And honestly, it would probably look cool with a couple of good coats of top coat just to smooth everything out, but it just felt so lumpy to apply and it really didn't compare to the rest of the polishes, which were so smooth and self-leveling and easy to work with. So I just found myself disappointed with this one. Whew, okay, we made it. That was a lot of polishes, but here is the comparison of what they all look like side by side. And we definitely got a huge range of colors here. Obviously the majority are creams and probably even more of the majority are neons and neon pastels, which like I've been saying is something that I think Ice Cream Nails excels at. So I'm not disappointed about that, but I really do like this formula. I think it applies really well for the most part. It was super smooth and self-leveling. The majority of the colors gave me really nice coverage, but I would love to see them dive into some of the other formulas that they've done with their regular line because they make such interesting, unique polishes, especially like like crellies and shimmers that they do where sometimes they aren't very self-leveling. I would love to see that in this formula because these were just so easy to work with. So definitely pleased with them, but let me share a little bit more on my thoughts of the line in general. So that is the first 30 nail polishes in the new Ice Cream Nails Plus line. I don't know exactly how they're planning on releasing new polishes with this line. If they're just focusing on the core line of 30 polishes for now, or if they're going to be releasing new collections in the Ice Cream Plus line. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will keep you updated when I hear about it and I'm sure I'll be reviewing them as well. But overall, I am pretty impressed with these. I think that the regular cream finishes are just really easy to work with. And like I said, very smooth, very self-leveling, very beginner friendly. The neons were a tiny bit trickier and some of them just didn't reach that opacity for me. But I know that neons are a more difficult formula. But overall, I didn't think that this line of polishes differed too much from the regular Ice Cream Nails line. Aside from the self-leveling, of course, I think that is something that they have made a huge improvement on in this line, which I think makes these polishes super beginner friendly. And I also do think that they are a little bit more high gloss, but to me that doesn't really matter because I always recommend using a top coat anyway. Even if your polish does have a very nice high shine to it, top coat is going to protect your manicure, help it last longer, and it's also usually going to help your nail polish dry a little bit faster. But I did also love the scattered hollow jellies that they had in there. I thought that they were so sparkly and fun. I would love to see a full collection of those because I want them in every single color. I think they're incredible. But yeah, overall, I will say I'm pretty impressed with these. I think that they took what I love about the regular Ice Cream Nails brand and just slightly improved everything. So if you're already a fan of Ice Cream Nails, I think this is a great 
line to try out because like I said, I think that they made some improvements that just make it a little bit better of a formula. And if you weren't a huge fan of the Ice Cream Nails formula, I think it actually kind of depends on what you didn't like about it because I will say these still have that thin formula that I am used to from Ice Cream Nails. But if what you're struggling with is the lack of self-leveling with some of those polishes, then I think that you should definitely try these out. So like I said, the polishes come in a little bit different of a bottle. They are the Ice Cream Nails Plus bottle, which is a wide, flat, rectangular bottle and we do have a white round cap and then within that cap we have a wide flat brush that is rounded tip and I thought that that brush was actually really incredible as well. Again very beginner friendly. I know I've said that a bunch of times but I do think that this is a very beginner friendly line of polishes. And just to note these polishes are a little bit bigger than the regular ice cream nails bottle. The regular bottle is 10 milliliters and this new bottle is actually 12 milliliters so you get a little bit more polish in there. And and all of these retail for $14 USD on the Ice Cream Nails website. I do have a discount code. You can use the code Kelly20 to get 20% off your order there. So I'm going to link that down below. But yeah, I'm curious to hear what you think. This line has been out for a couple of weeks now. So I'm curious if anybody's tried them so far and what are your thoughts? If you haven't tried them, do you think you will? Which color is your favorite that I reviewed today? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. This one was definitely one of my longer reviews and it took me a while to make so if you enjoyed it it would mean a lot to me if you gave it that thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals Rocketman's daughter Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from a Patreon supporter. I might be wrong and I might be wrong wants to know slightly green bananas, gross or awesome? I am so glad you asked this question because I very regularly, playfully argue with Ryan about this. I personally will not eat a banana if it is fully yellow. It has to have some green on there and believe me, if it has any brown spots on it, I will not be eating it. I'll save it for banana bread or for making banana pancakes, but I am absolutely not going to eat it just on its own or in cereal or in a smoothie or anything if it is not slightly green. I think that it tastes so much better when it's got a little bit of green to it. So much so that usually when I buy my bananas, I'll buy them when they're green and then I'll only have like a window of one or two days to eat them before they're too yellow for me and then Ryan has to eat the rest, uh, which actually does kind of work out pretty conveniently. But usually what I'll do is I'll buy a bunch of them, I'll cut them up and then I'll freeze them and then that way I can use them for smoothies or for cooking when they still have that delicious green banana flavor to them. I feel like most people are not green banana people. I know for baking and stuff like that it does get sweeter when it's riper. I don't love that flavor but I do acknowledge that it is good for stuff like banana bread so like I said I'll use it for that stuff but I will not enjoy eating it like that. In fact sometimes I just cannot eat a banana like that. I would love to know your banana preferences though so honestly scale of very green to very brown with yellow in the middle of course. Where do you like to eat your bananas? At what point in the scale? Because I feel like I'm like kind of over here. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be fully green but I like when there's some green in there. So let me know in the comments. We can chat about it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!